Hi everybody, I'm Danielle Conley. I'm doing my 15 minute skills presentation for instructor methodology. Um, I have my niece Riley as my audience um, and she's going to be also assisting me with the delivery of our um, patient, which we'll get to that sooner or later. So our topic is imminent delivery. Um, is pretty much whenever you have a OB patient that is ready or not, here we come to have her baby. Um, obviously, whenever you pull up on scene, um, you'll have your PPE, you'll make sure the scene is secure and everything. And then you'll approach your patient. Um, you'll see that she's obviously pregnant um, usually they should know how many weeks they are. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, a lot of them will just give you the months, but most will give you the weeks. Um, usually when they call, they're pretty much ready to have the baby. Um, there has been several occasions that they'll feel like they, they do, but they don't. Um, cause first pregnancies, I mean, it actually, it actually depends. Some people go quickly with their first pregnancy, but most of them take a little while to have their children or their, their babies. Um, first thing you're gonna do, like I said, PPE, you've seen safe, go in there, she'll tell you how many weeks, she'll, you'll ask her, you know, what seems to be going on at the time. Um, usually they'll say, well, I feel like I've got the urge to push or um, I went to the bathroom and I just, uh, feel like I got to poop move their bowels um, Sometimes they'll even say, you know, I've got um, like I peed on myself um, And then they'll feel like the cramping and a lot of them you can have cramping in your abdominal area or you can have back pain <clears throat> Which is your true true sign. So you're fixing to deliver sooner or later so like this says, this is crowning when you see the top of the baby's head through the opening of the vagina. I'll demonstrate that. Um, there's there's a lot of things that can happen with delivery. I'm just gonna um, demonstrate your normal deliveries. You've got deliveries of either um, a single child or multiple patients. Again, I will only demonstrate the, um, the single birth. Um, and uh, there's a lot of things that go on in a very short amount of time. Um, and uh, we'll get to that sooner or later. Um, biggest thing is when you're asking the patient questions, you need to ask, you know, is this your first pregnancy? Um, have you ever been pregnant before? How did that go? How did your first pregnancy go? That way you can, you know, think in your mind, your game plan. Okay, am I gonna need multiple trucks um it'd probably be smart of you to have at least another ambulance coming um just for the fact of you don't know how it's gonna go um you hope and pray that it goes smoothly but you've got you've got two patients <clears throat> you've got you know the mother and of course you've got the child and if this is her first you really don't know how it's gonna go because i mean it has if she hasn't had any problems during pregnancy, it could go smooth. But if she has had problems during her pregnancy and stuff, it might go the wrong direction. So that being said, um, smooth deliveries, uh, just pretty much you're catching. <laughs> it's like a ball. You're just catching. Um, she's going to do pretty much all the work. You're going to coach her um, into having the child. Um, and um, it should be pretty much smooth. Um, you don't, nobody needs to spin like a tornado. Um, you need to be like a coach and talk to her um, on how to do things. Um, she's gonna, you're gonna need to time your contractions. Um, she could be anywhere, like it says, five to 20 minutes apart for contractions. They can last anywhere between you know, 30 seconds to two minutes. Um, and that's when you really should be getting your game plan and ready to do everything. Um, when you do have the child, you're gonna be doing the um, APGAR every like 
for the first minute and the five minutes. Um, and that's just pretty much recording how the baby is reacting and such. Um, if they score poor, that means you're going to be doing a lot more for the baby, um, but we're not going to get into that. <clears throat> so, with that being said, um, I guess we can go to our patient and get her set up for her imminent delivery.